Hey everybody, my name's Michael. I'm here from Flying Kiwi Fitness. I'm here today to talk about one of our beautiful and strong athletes, Mr. Billy Harris, uh, who I look after multiple times a week inside the gym. Billy lives with an acquired brain injury. He has a lack of use on his uh, right hand side, uh, impaired from an injury he had uh, almost a decade ago now, I believe. Um, and whenever he comes into the gym, he loves getting his resistance training going. Whenever we're in the gym, I never try and take exercises or uh, different activities away from any of the athletes. I always want them to be uh, trying everything and, and doing their best, obviously within the safest confines possible. Uh, and that's what we do with Billy. Uh, most weeks, he does some pretty cool stuff. He is a beautiful athlete. Uh, he he works super, super hard whenever he's in the gym. But today, I wanted to talk about, in speci uh, specificity, uh, a couple of the things we do with dumbbells with him. So more specifically, the dumbbell chest press and the dumbbell uh, shoulder press or bicep curl, actually, I think we do here, uh, that we add into his routine that he does on a Wednesday. So we're going to jump over here and just show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. We recorded this one here, uh, maybe I think a week and a half ago. So it's very, very recent. You can see here, I've got a mask on. We'll just transition over to here. Here we go. So uh, Big Billy here going through the motion. So I was trying to introduce a little bit here, but this is Billy. Obviously you can see on that right hand side, he's got that compression bandage uh, running over uh, his right arm just help blood flow uh, and to help his arm uh, from moving too much uh, which obviously is going to help him in terms of injury we don't want him to hyperextend his elbow or anything like that and you can see he's got his AFO uh, just on that uh, right hand side there as well so uh, we're doing a dumbbell chest press here so we've been slowly working up to this we actually got him all the way up to like a 22 and a half kilo dumbbell press uh, at one stage, he had a bit of an issue with the shoulder, so we regressed him all the way back uh, in recent times. Here we go, he's just going for it, but uh, you know, he's moved all the way back up to, uh, I believe that's either a 20 or a 22 there. So you can see here really quickly, uh, I'll actually, I'll, I'll let this play out. You can see he's obviously working pretty hard. Uh, he, makes his, uh, he makes this weight actually move pretty easy now, which is really fantastic. We're really proud of Billy. Uh, he works alongside uh, quite a few of our friends, namely a uh, crew called LST Support Services. They're fantastic. They bring him in on the Monday and uh, Friday that I get to see him, and uh, a couple of times a week to our uh, group program. Uh, so they're the ones filming for us. So thanks, Liam. It was either Liam or Alfred here that day. So Bill's just finished his dumbbell press there. He made it look obviously pretty easy. We change out the weight, so now he's using a uh, <laughs> he's using a 12 and a half there cheeky flex you know how it is so and you can see there I'm just holding his arm out of place we'll talk about these as the video goes on but you can see here we're just trying to keep him nice and stable is the main thing here trying to stop his opposing arm from from moving here we go he's going for it big and strong <laughs> there he is the big poser It looks pretty good, looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, he, he works really, really hard when he's inside the gym. So you can see there, his right side is starting to move as he curls with his left side. His right side tries to mimic it. So there's a crossover somewhere between that left and right brain. Uh, there we go, so that's all finished. Wow, he, he ended that video very, 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 very quick. Um, so uh, there's a little bit of a crossover between that left and right brain, obviously making different sides of the body move. Um, but that's Big Bilbo, uh, working really, really hard inside the gym. So I wanted to just talk about uh, the safety more than anything. What we do to help Billy stay safe when he is inside the gym. That's the number one thing. You know, his mum, beautiful human, dad, great bloke. And the last thing they want to see is their young one hurt inside the gym. We want to make sure he's as safe as possible. Uh, and then after that, make sure that he progresses. So um, I'll bring this back here. You can see he just sits down to the bench first up, takes his time. Uh, the bench that we selected actually for this uh, that we normally use for him uh, is more of an anchored bench. So you can see there, it's got kind of like the wider um, base on one end. It's a narrow base on the end that he's sitting on, but it's much more stable than the adjustable benches. They have a little bit of wiggle room. And uh, I don't like that when he's doing his dumbbell press because there's so much weight on that, uh, oh, sorry, on that left-hand side uh, as he's pressing. 
So here I just help him get down into position. We try and make sure uh, once he's down there, uh, because of the uh, imbalance of strength that he does have uh, he tends to be a bit more lenient on that left side whenever he positions so we always try to keep him you can see here I'm just looking making sure that his legs are in the right spot that his upper body is kind of in the uh, in the correct position as well um, and uh, before obviously we give him any sort of weight so I press down on his uh, I don't know if you can see there uh, but I press down on his uh, knees here in order to help uh, Bill be nice and stable getting his feet flat so you couldn't oh, I don't know if you can see it before uh, at the very start yeah here you go so you can see here he's got this AFO that just runs down the back of his right calf that AFO runs uh, all the way down and underneath his foot and it keeps his foot in this kind of perfect position here in this nice right angle so it doesn't uh, flop down when he's walking which obviously kicks against the ground obviously it's not very handy for him if he wants to have a nice safe walking because kicking your foot against the ground you're going to fall over. It really, really sucks. So uh, when he is in that position there, I try and make sure that uh, his knees and his feet are nice and even. And his knees are obviously nice and firm down, which means his ankles are nice and firm on the ground too. And grab his dumbbell. He extends his arm up just here. So he'll reach up. There we go. Lovely. And he's holding on to that. Once, once I give him the weight here, so you can see there, I really slowly release that weight, really, really slowly to make sure he's got his balance because uh, as uh, I said before, he, there we go. As I said before, you, I don't know if you can really tell, I, it's just because I've been around him a lot, but his right side is actually a bit more elevated. So he's got that weight, as you imagine, he's holding 22 kilos in his hand and he's tilted just slightly. So my job now, is because he's going to be shifting that weight on his left hand side my job now is to make sure he is as safe as possible so he's more than capable of holding even more than that above his head that's why i'm happy for him to hold on to it um he can move this for plenty uh we never kind of move in that five eight rep range i much prefer anything further than that because then we know he has the ability to self-correct doesn't need me to jump in for a save or anything like that uh, we keep him in that area where he's super, super safe. Uh, we get him into position here, make sure his ribs cage and all that is all nice and uh, square against the bench, as in his whole torso is nice and straight. And then I hold down, number one, I hold down this knee just here. And then I wrap his uh, left arm, right arm up, sorry, to make sure that it doesn't move. Now, when he starts pressing, you'll start. you can start watching it. As he presses with the left side, the right side starts trying to mimic him. It starts doing like a like a ghost movement. I'm not sure if it's called a ghost movement, but he is not trying to make his right side move there, not at all. His left side is producing all of the force, but his right side is trying to follow a little bit. And and when Peck is uh, you know, working and tricep was working, it's gonna bring your elbow inward and it's gonna extend your arm. And you can watch both those movements happen just here as he starts to push so at first when he's not fatigued he's not putting in as much effort it's not too bad but as the reps go on you see there you go you can see there his arms starting to move that little bit more that little bit more so i'm still holding down this ankle to make sure that his body's not moving and i'm still holding Underneath there, I'm still making sure his rib cage isn't moving too far from the bench. I'm trying to kind of wedge him into position there so he doesn't have to move too far. Just like that. And you can see there, there we go. If you look just here, you see, watch it just here. His arm is obviously clearly right up against my wrist there. And then press. You can see it's starting to try and move by itself. His elbow, I think think has maybe even gone from an elevated position so I'll grab onto him so from up there from sorry down the bottom there and as he starts trying to press it's trying to push up against my wrist you can see it's making a big effort to move up there boom just like that and he finishes the I'll, I'll let him play out the last couple and he's pressing, 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 works super hard. And then once he's done, you can see there, I hold him into position. So this is this is another one of those crucial things for safety. Making sure that when he's finished the set, 
he can, if he needs to, he can throw it out to the side. Absolutely. We try not to do that inside, uh, inside our particular gym because the last thing we need is a bouncing weight moving over, hitting someone in the ankle, or even if he puts it down, it might drop on his phone or whatever the case. Um, could also bounce out and, and, you know, hit his leg. His leg is just down underneath here. If he threw it down, you imagine that dumbbell was going to be landing kind of maybe at his hip height all it takes is a bad bounce and is going to jump up and hit himself in the leg you know obviously that wouldn't be nice so he finishes that set there i make sure he's nice and balanced before i let him go and then can finally come around grab the weight and then i remove it away from the midline of his body move it away just like that and bilbo and i are pretty uh pretty well rehearsed uh, getting that one out so that's his dumbbell uh, dumbbell press and he gets a good pump out of it really enjoys moving weight that's one of the major things we try and uh, get everyone in the gym doing is stuff they like you know that's that's probably number one our number one rule outside of safety obviously is always walk out with a smile if I made Billy do some of the workouts that I give to some of the other guys, you know, if we get, have the juxtaposition of, for example, um, uh, say young Talitha, she does a whole bunch of hip mobility stuff and we just try and get her walking and stepping over little obstacles and stuff like that. If I had Billy try and do what Talitha was doing, he would not walk out with a smile. He wouldn't feel satisfied out of what he's trying to do uh, on that particular day. And if I tried making Talitha do weights, man, she just wouldn't like me. You know what I mean? She just, she wouldn't come back. Um, and we want all of the athletes to enjoy the gym environment. So Bilbo loves his weights. We keep him pumping weights. So we try and just, uh, you know, make sure that he, the environment of him doing weights is as safe as possible. So... Here you go, you see here we grab his 12 and a half, he's about to do uh, his dumbbell curls. Now, now the same rules apply when he is working hard on that left side, the right, oh geez, look at this eyeball. Who is that dude? Ugh. Um, so you can see here, I am now holding Bill's body in position, so I'm trying not to let him swing. That's just a basic form of kind of doing a dumbbell curl. You don't want your whole body to swing, you want your bicep to produ be producing the tension and, and the uh, the energy uh, into the weight. You want it to be producing the force. That's the word I'm looking for. You want it to produce the force, uh, not that kind of force, but you want it to be producing force uh, directly into that dumbbell. You don't want it to be from the back movement and then swing up. You want to be able to measure that all 10, 12 reps have been done by that particular bicep muscle as close as possible. Um, so you can see here, I'm wrapping Bill's arm up in between my two. So I almost get him in like, it's, a, it's an unusual grip, but I hold my hand behind his back here. I've got one arm behind his back and uh, and then I put it in front of his bicep just here. So it's just like that. That was really terrible to try and do. So I hold it just like that. Um, here you go, I'll change this up. There you go. So. I move his arm back here. I hold one arm there. And with my other arm, you can see I'm reaching over the top and I'm pushing down on his hand. And what that allows is when Bill starts curling again, as we were saying, brain injury, uh, the crossover of, of those patterns, as he starts curling, this right side starts yanking up starts yanking up yanking up and starts trying to really move in towards his body the bicep crosses over uh well uh the one of the tendons of the bicep crosses over the not only the shoulder oh not only the elbow sorry but also the shoulder so it starts moving in like this and starts moving upward obviously as he sits there and curls as well his shoulders kind of activating on that left side sorry so the right side is gonna gonna move him in so i am actively trying to stop billy from number one swinging number two his arm moving, all of those things help Billy stay stable in order to do the weight, number one. Number two, help him stay stable so he doesn't fall off the bench. Again, the rule that overarches everything, make sure they're safe, right? That's what we're trying to do here. So you can see as Bill starts to, uh, here you go, that's still, yeah. So you can see here, as Bill starts to curl again, he's moving there you go so he's working on being able to extend his arm by himself we'll do another video about him working hard there 
There we go. So he's extended his arm out, and you can see I've got that, that hand across there, and I am trying to hold that other arm down so it's not starting to make him swing everywhere. And Bill starts getting his pump on just like that. There we go. So I don't even have my other arm behind his back at this stage because he doesn't really require it until he starts kind of really swinging his body. I'm just holding there, obviously, that pressure against my hand. And done. Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know who filmed that, but that transition was terrible. It wasn't terrible, it was still pretty good. Um, so there you go, so. Let's see if we get a good spot. Yeah, there you go, he looks good. So yeah, so um, we hold that right hand side in and we try and make sure his body's not swinging. So obviously he's starting to get to like the heavier portion of doing those uh, single arm bicep curls. And, uh, you know, if he starts really struggling, man, he starts swinging. Last thing I want is that right foot, uh, yeah, that right foot you can see here, start shifting on the ground. And because of that, all of the weight being held in that left side, that right side flings out and suddenly he falls. We don't want him falling off the bench, you know. There's always stuff around the gym floor. Uh, you know, uh, we've got his little stuff here. We've got another dumbbell here. Um, you know, there's that shot of coffee that I think that was a double shot espresso that I had that particular day, right? Um, if Bill didn't have that support, I'm not saying it would happen every single time, but on that off chance where he's working really hard and suddenly one leg kicks out and he loses balance, man, we don't want the poor guy to be sore. We don't want him to fall, right? Safety, number one, safety. Making sure the big guy is nice and safe when he's doing his movements. Number two, he walks out with a smile. We get him doing activities that he enjoys, that he feels good. When he walks out of the gym, he gets that, ah, this feels nice. He's a fantastic lad. We never want to take that away from him. So yeah, Bilbo works super, super hard. Love the big guy to bits. And uh, that is how we get him to do his dumbbell press and his uh, bicep curl as safe as possible allowing for him to have great progression forward um yeah that's pretty well it so guys sending big love i hope this helps on uh on your lovely i think today's sunday yep hope that helps on your lovely sunday feel free to uh like comment subscribe you know all that sort of stuff and uh if you could please leave in the comment section uh which exercise you'd like me to cover next or if there's anything else I can possibly help with, if you have a question you'd like answered, I'd love to hear from it. Either send me a DM uh, on Instagram. Uh, if I miss you there, I'm so sorry. But uh, the comment section is pretty empty on YouTube because not a lot of my followers from the other platforms come across there. So if you do want to try and get in touch with me, it might actually be easier to leave a comment below uh, on our YouTube channel um, underneath this video. Sorry. And, uh, and let us know if there's a question you'd like me to answer because... I just want to help guys the more that stuff that i can put out on youtube for free uh the more people we can hopefully help uh all around the planet that you know live with different abilities that we know we all know for a fact that they uh most definitely have huge potential to grow from we would love to see them all as happy and healthy and and living as long as possible and living like you know that happy functional life so guys big love Mwah! As we finish everything, high five, fist bump, elbows, and head butt. Ba donk. Ah. Thanks, team.